Hey SpaceX fans, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got some exciting updates about SpaceX's Starship Flight 8. Rumors are swirling about a potential launch date, and we've got the latest on the static fire tests for Booster 15 and Ship 34, plus a cool update on Tower 2 at Starbase. Buckle up because things are heating up in South Texas. If you're as pumped as I am, hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Let's dive in. First up, let's talk about Starship Flight 8 itself. The rumor mill is buzzing, and according to posts on X and an FAA advisory, SpaceX might be targeting February 26, 2025 for this next test flight. That's right, just six days from now, as of today, February 20th. The launch window is said to be between 5.30 p.m. and 7.09 p.m. Central Time, with backup dates stretching from February 27th to March 6th. Now, this is still a rumor, so don't book your Starbase road trip just yet, but the weather forecast for the 26th looks promising. Clear skies and calm winds. Could this be the day we see Booster 15 and Ship 34 light up the sky? We'll keep you posted as more details roll in. Now, let's get to the prep work. SpaceX recently completed a static fire test of Booster 15, the Super Heavy booster slated for Flight 8. This test was a beast, 33 Raptor engines roaring to life at Starbase's orbital launch pad A. Reports say it was a record-setting event, with all engines firing smoothly. This static fire happened on February 9th, and it's a critical step to make sure Booster 15 is ready to hurl Ship 34 into the sky. SpaceX hasn't dropped an official success statement, but from what we saw, those flames looked picture perfect. What do you think? Did it nail the test? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And it's not just the booster getting some love. Ship 34, the upper stage for Flight 8, also had its moment in the spotlight. On February 12th, SpaceX fired up its six Raptor engines at the Massey's test site. And get this, they ran one of those engines for a full 60 seconds. That's a big deal, because it mimics the kind of in-space burn we might see during the flight. Ship 34 is a Block 2 design, with upgrades like more propellant capacity and tweaked flaps, so this test was key to proving it's ready for action. Both Booster 15 and Ship 34 are back at the production site now, likely getting final tweaks before they're stacked for launch. But wait, there's more. Over at Starbase Tower 2, SpaceX's second launch tower is making moves, literally. The chopsticks, those giant mechanical arms designed to catch returning boosters and ships, just passed their first movement test. This happened a few days ago, when crews started reeving the chopsticks, basically threading the cables that let them move up and down the tower. It's a huge milestone because Tower 2 is still under construction, and getting those chopsticks operational means SpaceX is one step closer to having a second pad ready for launches and catches. Imagine this. Two towers, double the action. Starbase is turning into a sci-fi dream. So where does this leave us? If the February 26th rumor holds, Flight 8 could attempt another booster catch with Booster 15, and maybe even push the envelope with Ship 34, think heat shield tests or dummy satellite deployments. After Ship 33's explosion during Flight 7, SpaceX is hungry for a win with this Block 2 ship. And with Tower 2's chopsticks flexing their muscles, the future of rapid reusability is looking bright. What do you think Flight 8 has in store? Will we see a double catch someday soon? Let me know below. On February 18th, 2025, SpaceX made history by successfully landing a Falcon 9 rocket booster on the autonomous drone ship Just Read the Instructions, stationed in the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of the Exumas in the Bahamas. This marked the first international landing of a SpaceX Falcon 9 booster, a significant milestone for both SpaceX and the Bahamas. The Falcon 9 launched from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida at approximately 6.21 p.m. ET, carrying 23 Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit. Roughly eight minutes after liftoff, the first-stage booster touched down on the drone ship, 
located in the Exuma Sound, north of Exuma, south of Eleuthera, and west of Cat Island. That's all for today's update. We'll be tracking every move as Flight 8 gets closer, so smash that notification bell to stay in the loop. Thanks for watching, Space Cadets! Keep looking up, and I'll see you in the next one!